importantly, at the people-to-people -people level, where I think it matters. When you say there's some kind of misinformation coming out of Pakistan, uh, which is generating hostility towards the United States, who's responsible for that? Look, there, this is a... How does one be delicate? I mean, when you meet Pakistani journalists, they're, they are not even in denial that they receive payments from the intelligence agencies. And that's, that's the interesting side of Pakistan's new vibrant media, is that a lot of it's for rent. And, and there'll be Pakistani journalists that talk about this. Now, the other issue is that there are no independent journalists that have access to the tribal areas because of this unusual constitutional status. So none of those alleged uh, allegations of civilian casualties can ever be independently confirmed. They're not buttressed, for example, by actual funeral, POTUS, uh, funeral notices. They're, I mean, they're completely unsubstantiated. And then, of course, the Taliban themselves have direct lines of communication with the media. So I think it's probably a combination of media management. I, the Pakistani intelligence is very good at managing the media uh, in Pakistan. And I don't think anyone really <laughs> who's being honest is going to deny that. Feel awkward saying it. Many Pakistani journalist friends. But they'll be the ones that joke about it themselves. You know, they'll meet an ISI media officer and they say, well, how much would it take to get you on our payroll? I mean, that's how open it is. Um, but that's a really good example of a, of a situation where a lot of Americans get really frustrated. Another good example is the managed outrage over Kerry Luger Berman. Yes, Pakistanis won our aid, but guess what? As Hillary Clinton said it herself, if you think the conditions affect your sovereignty, then exercise your sovereignty and not take the money. And the Pakistan embassy had been thoroughly involved in the conditionalities of Kerry Luger Berman. The Pakistan embassy had their defense representation there. I, I have myself testified at some of these hearings. I know they were there. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it's released, there's this orchestrated outrage uh, to create domestic um, you know, indignity over the terms of the, of the aid package.